Obvious. They are a vastly different team we than they were just a few days ago. Obviously looking long-term rather than short. Now let's check out our starters for the Los Angeles Lakers. We've got Mayo. Ingram is out there with the captain. Then it's the Prophet, and it's Russell in at the one. And that one drops for him. You never pass for the sake of passing. You wait until the defense commits. Russell does that, finds the open man nicely. Now here's Lamb. He dishes it to Antetokounmpo. To the middle, here's Monroe. And a great assist by Antetokounmpo as that one goes in. And I'll bet that's what they talked about before the game. You know, getting the ball inside early. And it worked to perfection, Clark, on that possession. We'll see how that plays out in terms of being a big part of their game plan. Real nice persistence in the paint by Mayo. A six-foot-five guard who doesn't mind getting deep inside for high-percentage shots. Now here's Lamb coming off a solid outing against Miami. Outside Mayo. There's the feed to Russell. There's a screen. Back to Mayo. Just four to shoot. Had the space there, but it's offline. I didn't see that miss coming. I mean, he's usually been money from that range. Parker and some very quick points for him on that possession. Whenever Parker has a look from mid-range, he's going to take it. I mean, he's a very capable shooter from that distance. Well, it's safe to say, I think, that Giannis' experiment at point guard last season was a tremendous success. Transitioned full-time to that role after the All-Star break, and it was a revelation, and it really saw a boost to his numbers across the board. And Milwaukee has possession. O.J. Mayo missing his last shot. Roberts dishes to Parker. Monroe left side. They get the rebound. And a foul on the shot. He'll go to the stripe for two. Ferocity and intensity from Parker in the paint. He leaves the defense with no choice but to grab him and foul him down there. And everyone knows about Jabari Parker and how he has come back from a ACL knee injury he suffered as a rookie. The more time that passes from that ACL tear, the more explosive Parker looks on the floor, I think. Looks like he never, in fact, had any issues at all. Yeah, that's a great point and a good observation. And I think uh, his explosiveness has surprised a lot of people. This is a guy that's got power going to the basket and can finish through contact. And, man, he's a guy that I think is going to be a big-time scorer for a long time. He doesn't get the second one. I like Parker's versatility. He can play both forward positions, in part because he's so long and big, and he's got excellent mobility. Now, here is Russell. He's coming off a 16-point game against the Pistons in Detroit. How on earth did they let him get that wide open? And keeping us updated from the sideline, let's swing it over to David Aldridge. Well, Kevin, I did catch up with Coach Luke Walton. This is the first meeting of the season between these teams, and he stressed to his guys the need to rely on their instincts at the offensive end. He said, we do a good job of finding soft spots in defenses without forcing things. If we keep doing that, we'll be in good shape. We'll see if they can keep that up tonight, Kevin. Back to you. Thanks for the report, David. And we'll get to see early on here how coaches focus on their shot selection comes to fruition, guys. And if they heed their coaches' words and really commit to finding the best shot possible each time down, I think they'll be fine. Teamwork is the secret here. I mean, if they're going to achieve that goal of shooting a high percentage from the floor, they can't do it as individuals. Yeah, but you have to love that tough interior defense. And Greg, that's exactly what he gives you. I mean, he's constantly making his presence felt around the rim. And all around the rim that time before dropping in. Ingram's got his first points of the night. And, you know, guys, not only can Ingram score from the perimeter, but he can get it done inside, too. I mean, the way he releases the shot, and that extension he gets on it makes it very hard to block. Lamb, good. Russell with it. Very solid contribution from him as he averages over 20 points a game. Here's Mayo. Rebounded by Lamb. 
you know, he's been off his game this quarter just a bit. Hasn't been able to get a whole lot to go so far. Plenty of daylight on that shot. And that makes it a tie ball game. And onto Tacumpo, just, I mean, showing you once again what an all around superb talent he is. I mean, he really moves that ball on offense. Here's Roberts. And he misses the go ahead basket. Lakers have gone 50% from the field to this point, four of eight. Russell kicks to Mayo. And there's a whistle that goes against Greg Monroe. That's his first foul. Pass to Ingram. Russell a screen on under the Kumbo. And you know, Anta Tacumpo is really a master at getting a hand up in the face of shooters. Excellent at contesting his shots and uh, really distracts guys when they get into their shooting rhythm. No one near Mayo as he lets it go. And the Lakers with another miss. Here's Monroe. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Monroe. Just a quick look now at how the point totals have looked over the last few months for Toledovic. It's been surprising to me to see him take a little bit of a tumble lately in terms of what he's doing for them offensively. The, the points just haven't been there for him like they were a few months back. The defenses he's facing have adjusted to him, and he hasn't been able to make his own adjustments. Mayo kicks to Ingram. Back to Mayo. Feeds it to Russell. Just five on the clock. And the rejection by Monroe. That was terrific defensive awareness from Monroe. Knowing where to be in order to come up with these rejections. And it's blocked. And that's out of bounds. Milwaukee will retain possession. And so it's Milwaukee with it. Anda Takumbo kicks to Roberts. Milwaukee, no good that time either. Just doing the job on the backboard. They sure are. I mean, they've done a terrific job carving out space under the basket and then pursuing the ball. You know, it's one thing to box out, but you've got to pursue the ball if you're going to get rebounds. And you know, they look strong here in the early going. And Milwaukee has possession. O.J. Mayo getting it to go from deep. Here's Roberts. Tried to come right back with the three of his own, but it's no good. Russell with it. He's picked up by Lamb. Here's Russell. That shot misses. Parker kicks to Onda Takumbo. Pass to Monroe. A stupendous finish in traffic. Monroe's got his second basket. And last season, Jason Kidd had to have hip surgery, which caused him to miss a large portion of the season. Casual fans might think, why can't he just sit and coach? But there's a physical toll to coaching, as we all know. Absolutely there is, guys. I mean, constant moving, the traveling, uh, engaging in practice, film watching, which requires a lot of sitting. I mean, coaching an NBA team is very stressful and demanding and hip surgery any type of surgery for that matter can definitely have an impact on your ability to perform as a coach I'm actually glad to see Jason Kidd fully recovered and and back to coaching his team here's Henson and good work on the boards they pick up the second chance points Henson's got his first bucket of the night the Lakers trail Russell passes to Ingram here's the profit it's a nice passing here by Los Angeles. Good! Russell's got his second bucket tonight. Getting more comfortable attacking inside is Russell. Nice job, D. Russ. On to Takumbo, dishes to Parker. Stolen away. Russell passes to the Prophet. It's good! And the Lakers lead by three. Your heads up aggressive play right there. Saw the smaller man on him and took it straight to the basket. And Roberts kicks to Henson. 
to the paint. Wants to get it to Antetokounmpo and does count the basket. And Antetokounmpo is, is just fearless. I mean, hit him, knock him around, really doesn't phase him, doesn't matter. I mean, this guy is determined to get the job done, and he does. And some changes here for the Bucks. Mirza Toledovic comes in for Parker, and it's Beasley in for Jeremy Lamb. That's good from Antetokounmpo. And Giannis has been deployed at so many different positions in his short career. But one reason why he's been able to pull it off is because of his incredible wingspan measured at 7-3. Yeah, it's amazing when you watch this guy play. Um, Giannis is so long and he's just a uh, whirling dervish of arms and legs and skill. That's why they call him the Greek Freak. I mean, we've not seen anybody with this skill set at this size. The space he covers on offense and defense is really uh, mind-boggling. And so it's the Lakers with it, following the bucket by the Bucks. They set the screen. Kicks to Collins. Launches it. Beasley with the rebound. They've been sensational on the backboard to start this game. Yeah, sensational is a really good word for it, Greg. They're tearing it up on the glass. Now, here's Antetokounmpo. 17 points for him last game against Miami. And also, he competed on the backboards. That also had a lot to do with the game. Passes to the Prophet. Here's Silk. He hasn't yet put up any points in this one. Second chance effort. And Henson pulls it down. The defense ready for him on that possession. They had to be because he is so strong in the paint. Now the pass to Toledovich. This is to Beasley. Right side, Anadokounmpo. Four on the shot clock. Anadokounmpo can't get that one to fall. Los Angeles has gotten just two of six to fall from three-point range so far in the first. Pass to Ohio. There's the screen. Drills the three-pointer. And the Lakers lead by one. Man, that is not an easy shot right there. I mean, he had to get it off over a much taller defender. Yeah, he needed to add just a little more loft on that one because of the size mismatch, and he did it perfectly. Now, here's Adetokounmpo. A good portion of the scoring has come from him. He averages more than 18 points a game. And there's the call on Giannis Adetokounmpo. That's his first foul. L.A. has gone 3-7 from three-point range in the first quarter. Ohio on the pass to the prop. Passes it to Cobb. Here's the teardrop. And that one gives them a plus-five rebound advantage, Kevin. Pretty clear they're dominating that area. They've come out with a lot more energy and effort so far. 121 left here in the opening quarter. Out to the right wing. Here's Roberts. And the Bucks miss again. Well, it isn't for a lack of effort when it comes to getting up to three-pointers, but not much to show for it. He's going to lose the green light here very early in this game if this keeps up. And really smart to draw his man out to the perimeter. He's giving up too much size to be effective inside. Showed nice basketball IQ. I agree, Greg. I mean, if he finds his spot on the perimeter and doesn't force it, I think his outside shot will be hard to block no matter who's defending. Here's Ande Takumbo after the basket by the Lakers. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact and he'll shoot two. And quite honestly, guys, Ante Takumbo. Get that name right, folks. He's one of the most unique, talented players in the league. I mean, long arms, which really create a lot of problems for the defenders, whether he's passing or shooting. For Milwaukee, they have shot one of three from the line tonight, missing two earlier on. And taking a look at the numbers on the season, they've converted about 77% of those foul shots. And that's a little better than they did last year from the free throw line. Plumley is checked in for the Bucks.
He hits the second from the line. Antetokounmpo has the complete and total trust of his teammates. A real Swiss Army knife, a versatile guy. Does everything and anything that needs to be done with the basketball in his hand. Ohio, Antetokounmpo defending to the wing right side. Here's Collins. No good on the three. Well, I'll tell you what, he's going to buy himself a ticket to the bench if he keeps shooting it like that. He has been putrid here this quarter. Here's Roberts. Lumley with the screen. The shot by out of the Kumbo. Nobody around. Beats it. And it's good, but hold on. The officials may want to look at that one on the replay monitor. And indeed, they're going to look at it again. They need to be certain he beat the buzzer. And even though... You know, you're thinking maybe we don't need the replay in a situation like this. Still plenty of time left in this game, and really it's about getting the call right. Yeah, and the NBA Replay Center in Secaucus is queuing up the footage for the officials on the floor. Um, the new process is making for quicker turnarounds, I think. Well, the ruling is no in, and the call the stands. No baskets, so no change in the scoreboard as we end the quarter. And, and smart decision to review that shot. That was indeed very close to being legitimate. the second quarter getting underway no team gaining an edge so far and what stands out to you from the Lakers in this one the roof is up right now guys it's raining in here a lot of threes through the first hey sometimes when it rains it pours and they have not let up from beyond the arc taking a look at the Lakers pass to Hassel here's Redding no scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. He got an advantage there off the pick and took it right in. The Bucks trail. And you look at the roster of these Bucks. So many players on the team that can rise up and embarrass a defender. Not only can this team throw it down, they're looking to throw it down. Yeah, they want to wreck that rim as much as they can. And if I had the leaping ability of guys like Giannis and Parker, I'd be doing the exact same thing. The Bucks actually led the league in percentage of shots that were dunks in 2016. They are an entertaining bunch and a throwdown group worth watching. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for the Lakers. Guys, they are dialed in from beyond right now. They didn't waste any time getting into a groove in this game. They've been distributing the ball really well tonight, too. I mean, a decent number of assists so far for them. Well, you have to really like what a guy like Miles Plumley brings to a team. He knows he's there to eat up space in the middle and bring energy as a defender. He doesn't try to do too much and does a nice job filling his backup role. Ingram, he's checked in for Los Angeles. Plumley hits them both. And with Plumley, he has a blue-collar approach to his game. We've seen it. We've enjoyed it. Never tries to force anything. Guys, he just lets the game come to him. And I think it's the same for all his brothers as well, guys. I mean, Plumley has always shot the ball well from the floor because he rarely does anything outside of the paint area. He's not a very flashy guy, but I think just about every team values a player like Miles Plumley. And keeping us updated from the sideline, let's swing it over to David Aldridge. Well, Chris Middleton has become an elite help defender, but he's soft-spoken. He's become more vocal on the court, and that is not by coincidence. You know, Jared Dudley told me this story a couple of years ago that Coach Kidd told Dudley during practice, stop talking. I want Middleton to talk. Two shots, gentlemen. And now Middleton's communication has taken off. Two. Coach Kidd said his communication is something that never comes up. When you're looking at his growth, it's not just his game, but his leadership that has taken off. 
Kevin? Well, thanks, D.A. He's truly a great two-way player. A terrific find for Milwaukee. He misses the free throw. Craig Monroe. He's checked in for the Bucks. Jabari Parker comes in for Michael Beasley. And he's good on the second. And the Lakers with possession here. They put up a nice win against Detroit the last time out. Yeah, struggled to shoot the basketball in that game, but still found a way, if you will. I mean, they had to pick up the slack in a lot of other areas, and they did. And Greg, you know, not too many teams are going to win shooting that poorly from the floor. So, I, you know, I'd have to say it says a lot about them as a ball club to win with that poor shooting performance. And Roberts kicks to Monroe. Tries from 16, and that's good for two. Monroe's got his third basket of the night. And you just got to really like the versatility of Monroe. He's really stretching the defense with how he strokes it from the mid-range area. Screened by Russell. There's the pick. Launches a three. The dive for the ball. Out of bounds. Milwaukee takes possession. And some great passing here so far. Let's check out this chart that breaks down where the assists have been coming from for the Lakers. And, and their guards have been the ones to really set the tone here tonight with their ability to create shots. You talk about the big fellas. They love to play with guards who try to keep them involved offensively. We're just over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Lamb dishes to Plumley, And a kind roll that time off the rim as that one falls. plumley has got seven now in this quarter. Guys back and forth this first half. And this could continue to go back and forth the entire way. Here's Sonikitsi. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact and he'll shoot two. Yeah, just nice strength there and then just off with the shot. Boy, with all the contact he drew there, Greg, that would have been a heck of a bucket. He nearly got it to go. Two shots. The first one falls. Henson checked in for Miles Plumley. O.J. Mayo is checked in for the Lakers. So he gets them both. Three minutes of action so far in the second quarter. Roberts passes to Parker. To the inside. And lots of contact there. Missing the shot. He'll shoot two. That's on D'Angelo Russell. And you know what? You allow a guy to get right to the rim like that. That's your only option. Yeah, exactly. I mean, free throws are always better than a layup. So I'd agree with you there, Greg. First one falls for him. And so he hits both. There's not a lot you can say that hasn't been said before about his skill at the charity strike. Lakers have gone three of four from the floor here in the second quarter. Outside Mayo. Outside Russell. Back to Mayo. Five to shoot. Good, and it's Russell picking up the assist. Russell's got assist number seven for him tonight. That's really the confidence that Mayo has in himself on display. Before he even receives the pass, he's preparing to shoot the pumpkin. 
And Roberts kicks to Monroe. Up and in for the basket, number four. That makes him four for five now. Well, guys, this first half has been about as tightly contested as you could hope for. There have been a lot of lead changes. My goodness. And now he's taken a solid opening in the quarter and built on it here in the second. Roberts dishes to Monroe. Now here's Parker. He's guarded closely. And another basket for Milwaukee. And the lead goes right back. What a seesaw affair we've got going on. This game's right there for the taking, but neither team can quite grab hold of it. Like a slippery bar of soap there. <laughs> Somebody's got to take charge here. Silks checked in for Los Angeles. Now here's Lamb. He's covered closely. Henson with the screen. Lamb passes to Henson. He got right to the cup using that screen. And now it's a three-point Bucks lead. The number of points they've scored in the paint already today is pretty eye-opening. It, it really is, Clark. The defenders need to do a better job of closing those lanes to the hoop. And not a night he's going to want to remember, just not really able to score the basketball. Here's Roberts. He picked up 15 points in their last win against Miami. And Kevin, a remarkable night for him passing the basketball as well. He did a great job racking up the assist. Ingram wide open. Buries it from three-point range. Ingram's got 11 points. I don't think you can say enough about the quarter he's having. Every one of his attempts has gone down. Here's Roberts. He has seven. And Monroe with the basket on the assist by Parker. Monroe's got six in the quarter. They are just killing them on the interior. Yeah, you can't say that with enough emphasis. I mean, the defenders are just not being aggressive enough down low. You got to play with some physicality in the paint. And Roberts kicks to Monroe. He can't get that one, so Los Angeles will take it the other way. There's the pass to Cobb. Takes it from 10, and so he draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line Good to shot, shoot Jordan. two. And Brandon Ingram out of Duke, drawing comparisons to Kevin Durant like uh, KD. He's very rangy, very lanky for a perimeter point. Yeah, and Ingram around 6'10 in shoes with that 7'3 wingspan. I mean, he's still, you know, light weight-wise, much like KD was when he came in the league. Still, you don't see many small forwards with the standing reach of a center. Good on both. While we've got a moment, let's now take a look at the teams that have the most second chance points on the season. In third, the Lakers one of the better rebounding teams in the league, especially on the offensive end. They never take that for granted in terms of whether the shot's going in. The Bucs have gone 7 for 10 here in the second quarter. They'd like to keep up that nice pace. It's Monroe, high post. He kicks it to Parker. Here's Roberts. Milwaukee, no good that time either. He hit a three in the first, but so far has been unable to capitalize here in this quarter. Well, you look at the length in the hands of the players in the Bucks roster. They can absolutely hound you on the defensive end, force a lot of turnovers when they crank it up. Tell you what, there are very few teams, guys, that have the combination of length and speed that the Bucks possess. And because of that, they can pressure teams into turnovers at a high rate. And when they do that, they're at their best defensively. And the Bucks making a change here. Ante DeCumbo's checked in. He makes one of two that time. And you know, the lights out shooting ability of Mayo causes defenders to scratch their heads. Actually gives them headaches. I mean, he's a sweet shooter who feels comfortable pulling up from anywhere. Yeah, that's a super defensive play. If that gets through, no doubt they score. And that's why he sold out for it, because he knew he had to make that play. He wasn't going to let them get the event. Parker dishes to Henson. 
Monroe left side. And the shot no good, a bit short. You, you almost have to assume he's going to knock those down when he is that open. Outside Mayo. Ingram setting a pick for Mayo. And count it. Two points with a chance for one more at the free throw line. It just seems like the more he touches it, the more the lead grows. Lakers shooting their seventh free throw attempt here. And that one misses. And just a much better job of attacking and getting to the line here in the second quarter. Didn't have a single attempt in the first. He always knows where his teammate's going to be. And, Kevin, that will let him put the ball where he wants it, right waiting for him. There's a good screen. Ohio on the pass to Collins. The wing jumper off target. Milwaukee's gone 0-2 from deep here in the second. The dish to Lamb. Free throw line jump shot. And the shot counts. He's fouled and it's a chance for a three-point play. You know, of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is major smash mouth basketball, guys. It's all about imposing your will offensively, getting exactly the kind of looks their coach drew up. Los Angeles has gone one or two on three pointers here in the second quarter so far. Ohio, the pass to Cobb. Hot to Takumbo, pulls it in. On to Takumbo, has got his third rebound on the night. Inside, and slam dunk by Henson. And he placed that pass out in front of him and let him just run into it in rhythm. Ohio, the pass to Collins. Here's the profit. 17 points for him last game against Detroit. Yeah, but the rebounding in that game as well was just tremendous. I mean, he dominated the backboard. Screen by Monroe. And here is Henson. He's got eight. Screen by Parker. And Henson kicks to Lamb. Shot clock at six. Let's it go from deep. The Lakers with the rebound. The Prophet's got his third rebound on the night. Well, uh, you know, they're in the lead, but he's still been frustrated from an offensive standpoint. Ohio, covered by Lamb. Here's Collins. Good D by Parker. And, and although he doesn't quite get the block, he does get the missed field goal attempt because of his ability to alter the shot. Well, almost as effective as a block. I mean, made him completely change his release point, and I think that caused the miss. And boy, has he come alive. Since the start of the second quarter, he has been on fire. Here's Silk. Quiet so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. Pass to Ohio. Puts up a three. Not going to go that time. And Milwaukee will come the other way. They come in fresh off a win against the Heat. You know, they played well enough to win. But to be honest with you, I just felt like their opponent's defensive performance was shaky at best. Yeah, I'd go along with that, Greg. I mean, the game wasn't handed to them, but they definitely didn't have to work as hard for it as they should have. Here's Silk. I did a Kumbo defending. Here's the screen. Here's Ohio. And the Lakers get it back. The feed to Collins. And he's good on the three ball. Collins has got his second bucket of the night. How about the passing? They are moving the ball time without out, any out. thought, without any individual agenda. Yeah, and it's really fun to see that kind of unselfishness. Really hard not to appreciate all the assists they've racked up. A different look for Milwaukee. Plumley is checked in for Monroe. Mirza Toledovic comes in for Henson. And it's Beasley in for Jabari Parker.
135 left to play in the first half. Plumley with the screen. Down low. It's intercepted. Beasley against Collins. Passes it to Ohio. To the middle. Can't tie it up as that one's no good. And, and typically he has the touch to finish when he's in tight, but not sure on that possession. Lamb dishes to Plumley. Here's Collins. It's good. This game is all even. Collins has got seven. Not phased at all by having a bigger defender on him down low, and I really thought he would be. You know, at first glance, you wouldn't think that he'd be comfortable in that particular situation, but, well, I'll tell you what, he didn't look like he was out of his element at all right there. Los Angeles has gone 6 of 14 with the three ball tonight, just a little over 40%. Ohio, covered by Lamb. There's 31 seconds left in the first half. Beasley kicks to Toledovich. First trip to the line for him here. Free throw drops for Toledovich. And the Lakers making a change here. Russell's checked in. And so Toledovich nails both of them. Lakers trail by four. And if they're smart, they can hold it for the last shot. To me, that's got to be the target. Make sure you manage the clock effectively so you do get the last shot. Now Russell. He's got seven. This one for three. And again, Los Angeles with a triple. Sliding and gliding off the pick and roll. Russell makes the smart choice to take it himself. And the first half comes to a conclusion in a game that has been very close so far. Bucks ahead. They're up by one. A competitive matchup for Milwaukee in the first quarter. They never dug too deep a hole for themselves in the first period. The most they trailed by was five. They battled hard in the second quarter, and it was reflected on the scoreboard. Kenny, your thoughts on the Bucks' first half? Well, they're doing a great job of pushing the action and getting to the foul line. They aren't just pulling up for uncontested shots. They're making the defense react to them. In transition, on the dribble, and with those quick cuts, they're in attack mode. That's dangerous. To beat them, you need to force them to play more defensively. Shaq, your take on the Lakers. Well, they had a strong perimeter game. See, Ernie, when this team executes from long range, those weapons spread out of defense. Coming out of the second half, if those shooters are hot, they got a great chance to take control of this game. Milwaukee in the lead. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade for the second half of basketball. Setting the floor for the Bucks. Parker and Monroe together inside. Ryan Roberts out there with Jeremy Lamb. And it's Ande Dekumbo in at the three. I think you got to give props to the defensive male. He's known as an offensive player, but he keeps his eyes moving, his arms and hands active, which helps him get steals. Screen by Russell. Mayo, the pass to Ingram. Here's the profit. And the bucket counts, and he's on his way to the free throw line. Try to make it a three-point play. Yeah, starting the second half nicely there. Love those easy lay-ins to get things going. And how many more possessions like that would they love to get down the stretch? A bunch of them, I bet. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. And 74%, yeah, you know, so-so. He probably wouldn't mind seeing it a little bit higher. Here's Roberts. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. The Prophet's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. 
And for the Lakers, five different head coaches now counting interims in the last five seasons. Not a bunch of stability on that bench. Bucks trail by three. Here's the screen. And Roberts kicks to Monroe. Got a piece of it, but they'll get another chance. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Parker. And the Bucks miss again. And the Lakers also seeing some turmoil in the front office this offseason. Yeah, you know, back in 2014, big promises were made about contending within three years. I mean, this is season three, and the Lakers clearly a bit away from contention. This team looking for a new direction, hopefully one with some stability and consistency. For Los Angeles, they have made five of eight of their free throw attempts. And in terms of team numbers, uh, the free throw percentage is right at 74. And, and guys, that allows their opponents to play very aggressive defense if they choose to, knowing it's not a bad thing to send them to the foul line. Both good from the line that time. Well, you know, the Bucks only have one title in their history as a franchise, but what a title it was, led by my favorite player of all time, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, known as Lou Alcindor back in the day. Teamed up with the veteran Oscar Robertson, the big O, to bring the Bucks that first title. And you have to mention that 1971 title run by the Bucks. They were a force nobody could stop swept the finals in four games straight over the Baltimore Bullets. They yeah, had 66 wins in that season as well, guys. And that was early in my formative years as a basketballer. Actually, when I first started locking into the NBA, a big Lou Alcindor fan. He was the 71 MVP in that championship year for the Bucks, And then he'd go on to win another MVP the following season. And ironically, those are the only two MVP trophies that a Buck has ever received. And he's good on the second. Los Angeles leading by four. Russell passes to the Prophet. Lakers working the ball around now. He feeds it to Ingram. Pass to Hassel. Mayo kicks to Russell. Here's the three. Just five to shoot. And the Lakers get it back. The Lakers have made seven free throws and missed three in this game. The first free throw is good. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. Some really terrific numbers for the Prophet. He has eight points and two steals as well. He's had great awareness out there exploiting those passing lanes and coming up with steals. And Clark, it's as if he's been a step ahead of everyone else out there today. And Lamb kicks to Monroe. Battles through traffic and lays it in. Monroe's got 12. And that persistence from Monroe, wow, his stick-with-it attitude really is what allows him to get these chances down low. Screen by Russell. A three. Shot by Mayo is no good. You know, nine times out of ten, he's going to knock that one down. He'll spray that one on you. Here's Monroe. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. And when Greg Monroe signed with Milwaukee, many thought it was a perfect fit. However, as we saw after a short time, any question if he can be the answer for the team? Not so much a knock on his play, 
Just and what the team is is you know what you know missing overall. Two shots. Hey, Greg does an awful lot of good things, but he's not a guy who's going to be a rim protector. His game is pretty close to the ground. Uh, but nonetheless, no matter what team Monroe plays for, I think he'll give you a post presence on offense, and he'll give you consistent effort um, in every aspect of the game. And he sinks the second. You know, the former Hoyer, Greg Monroe, is a bruising big man who really imposes his will in the paint. Russell passes to the Prophet. Inside. Mayo. That's good. He's got 10. That's how to orchestrate for your teammate. Terrific pass. Roberts dishes to Monroe. Feeds to Parker. Here's Roberts. That one off the back iron and out. Well, that's a lot of bricks by them early in the second. Only one make on five tries so far in the second half. The pass to the Prophet. And out of bounds as the Bucks gain possession. And now a chance to take a look at the shot chart. Well, you have to think that he is going to look to go to the rim a little more often going forward because the three ball just hasn't been there. Uh, sometimes it seems he's not getting his feet set or, or rushing his shooting motion, but either way, it just ain't falling. Third quarter of basketball here in just a little under three and a half minutes gone by. Now here's Andre Dekumbo. He has seven. They swipe it. Here's Ingram. They get it back. Comes up empty down low. Bucks trail by five. And Lamb kicks to Honda Takumbo. He dishes it to Parker. And it's Monroe at the elbow. Outside, Honda Takumbo. Clock at four. Ingram with the steal. By himself. And slam dunk by Ingram. And how about the huge wingspan of Ingram really causing the opposition a number of problems? Roberts passes to Parker. And it's Brandon Ingram with the foul. That's his third foul of the game. John Henson's checked in for the Bucks. Three from the inbound. A shot by Roberts, no good. It's almost like he's trying to make things hard on himself. You know, he's just got to slow the game down, try to get some easy ones. Here's Hassel. He's playing a pretty big role for him at the offensive end, averaging about 12 and a half points a game. And it's Ingram missing. One made three for him for the game. Does he focus closer in? Oh, oh. wow. <laughs> Ah, that's a beautiful jam. Yes, indeed. Oh, my. He's rising up and bringing the wood on that one. <laughs> Could be just what they need to pick up their energy. Oh, Greg, it definitely got the guys on the bench on their feet. I'll say that. Tell you what, that will definitely energize them, guys. I mean, he knew exactly what he was doing when he went in for that dunk. And the highlight real replay brought to you by Kia. Good stuff on that Kia Slam Camp. Onda Takumbo, a screen on Mayo. And Roberts kicks to Onda Takumbo. Shot clock at six. It's stolen by Mayo. And now here's Mayo, the fast break opportunity. And he finished it off with a lay-in. Mayo's got the lead up to seven now for the Lakers. And a look at how the hustle game has been going for Los Angeles. The activity level defensively, I I've really been impressed with. They've been in attack mode on the defensive end. Another factor here tonight has been the amount of points they've scored off turnovers. Outside, out of the Kumbo. Here's Henson. 
And he's way off from outside. Lakers leading by seven. And here's Mayo from beyond the arc. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Mayo's got seven now in this quarter. First three of the half, second of the game. Can he heat up? Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. As the teams head into this timeout, a chance for the coaches now to map out some plays for the next few minutes and a chance for the players to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's important if they want to make sure they don't wear down later in the game. Absolutely. Over the course of a game, you have to stay hydrated. Mirza Toledovic has checked in for Milwaukee. Beasley comes in for Jabari Parker. And Roberts kicks to Onda Takumbo. And two free throws coming up as he misses that one. Drawing the whistle and a lot of contact there. Well, Onda Takumbo in this one. Eight rebounds, and what a game he's had passing the ball, too. I love the fact that he plays for his teammates, really spreading the ball around, getting everyone involved. And it'll be his fourth time going to the free throw line in the game. And on the season, you know, only shooting around 73%, so not necessarily where he'd like to be. That's good from out of the Kumbo. And the Lakers with a young core of players, they take it back to basics for recovery. After every game, the players get chocolate milk. Well, it's highly recommended as a recovery drink, um, guys. And they get a special version of the chocolate milk, though. Lower sugar, grass-fed. They say it's great for recovery. And you go back to Julius Randle, who broke his leg in his first game. Uh, they're motivated to get lots of calcium in the diet of the players. To the inside, Dolman laid in with a nice touch off the glass. And the Lakers lead by 10. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Well, I agree with you. Four of their last five baskets have been exactly of that variety. Roberts dishes to Toledovich. Shot clock at five. Onda Takumbo passes to Toledovich. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. Here's a look at the teams that have been dominant offensively over the course of the past month. Fourth spot held by the Lakers. You know what, Kevin, as a team, they've been getting great results offensively. I mean, they seem to always get the ball to the right guy at the right time in Two the shots. right position. First free throw is good. Miles Plumley's checked in for John Henson. And so Toledovich nails both of them. You look back on the history of the Bucks, and it's just so rich with some of the biggest names in NBA history. So many great names that got their start or played some great basketball one time or another well, for the Bucks. Well, well, two of the biggest names in the history of the game. I mean, when you talk about Kareem Abdul-Jabbar and the big O, Oscar Robertson, you don't get any bigger than those two names. You also have some of the great two guards that have played in this league, Ray Allen and uh, Sidney Moncrief. You get the feeling that a few of the current players uh, could end up being viewed as all-time great Bucks as well, particularly Giannis Antetokounmpo and um, Jabari Parker certainly um, have the ability to maybe get to that ring of honor in Milwaukee. Here's Antetokounmpo, and the layup is good after a nice lead pass. Antetokounmpo's got 13. Excellent awareness from Antetokounmpo, sensing the chance to impose his will inside and then capitalizing really easily. Mayo with it. 15 points in the game. Dolman and fouled hard that time. He'll get to the line and shoot two. Over the last 10 games, Kevin, you can see where the Bucks rank in the league stats. Second and second chance points. Seventh in rebounding. And they are in the top third of the league in assists. The quality of players they have, you thought they might be better there, but not bad. And their gift for offensive rebounding definitely evident in all those second chance points. The two go hand in hand. Make no mistake, if you don't box out, you're going to pay. And 
and he makes the first. They're doing a great job here in the second half. They've brought their free throw percentage up quite a bit, and that's winning basketball. That's one of the ingredients in winning basketball. Good free throw shooting. That one falls, so he hits both of them. You know, they've really improved at the line from the first half. Things have gotten a lot better. They've gotten there a good number of times, and they've converted a high percentage of them. Outstanding entry pass there. He knew exactly where to go with the ball. Outside Mayo, there's a screen down low. And that's out of bounds. The Lakers will retain possession. And checking out some numbers for Mayo. How his last 10 games have gone. He's averaging 14 points a game, three assists, and two rebounds. And guys, no question, he's a guy with some talent. But, but honestly, even he'd like to see those numbers improve. And all indications are that he's been working hard on his game. It just hasn't shown up in the box score yet. They've been the better rebounding team by a healthy margin, but it hasn't been enough. Yeah, you know, they're hustling and giving a good effort, that's for sure. But unfortunately, the execution has been lacking. A floater and the rejection by Adetokounmpo. So it's the Lakers now. Here's Mayo. And he gets the friendly spin and that one drops. Mayo's got the lead up to 10 now for the Lakers. The Bucs have gone a somewhat subpar 4 of 10 on their shots in the second half so far. Beasley kicks to Roberts. Good work there as it goes. Roberts got nine. And that lead pass allowed him to get straight to the rim unabated in stride. Outside Mayo. Launches it. Beasley with the rebound. Beasley's got three rebounds so far in the game. No one near to Ledovich as he lets it go, and it's off from three-point range. Outside Mayo. They set the pick. Shoots off the screen. That one wide left. Bucks trail by eight. Onto Takumbo, dishes to Roberts. Toledovic passes to Plumley, but he gets it back. Toledovic's shot is good. Toledovic has got six in the quarter. They've had assists now on their last three baskets. And it's not just their passing, but also the body movement off the ball that's created a lot of those opportunities. Here's Hassel, covered by Toledovic. Five to shoot. Here's Redding from past the arc. Another shot. Hassel. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. Already it's February. Hard to believe. Let's see how the West is matching up. Taking a look at the Clippers. Earning the first place position with a terrific record. And we've seen them perform splendidly pretty much all season long so far. And they're definitely the team to beat. And of course Los Angeles. Right now they're five spots below them. And you know, for the Lakers, this isn't the spot that too many people thought they'd be in this far into the season. They've really turned some heads with their play. Well, any doubts I had have long dissipated. I mean, they're not doing it with smoke and mirrors. I mean, they are a legitimate top-tier team. The Bucks making a switch here. Lamb's checked in. Both shots good from the stripe. There's 126 left to play in the third. Beasley against Collins. And the ball goes out of bounds. Oh. Nice touched by Beasley. Boy, did they ever make a mess out of that one. A terrible turnover. Lakers leading by eight. Outside, Russell. It's O.J. Mayo on the wing. Let's it go from 14. Milwaukee with the rebound. And this matchup with the Lakers 
It's their first meeting of the season. Yeah, faced off twice last season, and it was a split between the two teams. Well, you know, both of these teams know and understand when they face off, it's a very winnable game for either one of them. Here's the profit from outside off the mark. You know, even though he missed that three-point shot, I think the defense has to do a better job of challenging the shot. Yeah, and as a coach, you can really ill afford to have those types of opportunities presented against your defense. And Los Angeles guys uh, shooting for the game at 42%. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. And honestly, not real happy with the shot selection on that one. Yeah, clearly a brain fade there. He's got to be a little smarter in his choice making. The points just keep coming for him this quarter. And just at the right time, too, as they try to narrow the deficit. And here's Russell. 12 points for him. From deep. And it would have counted had it fallen, but it's offline. And we're set to start the action up here in the fourth quarter. And if it's anything like the first three, we should be in for a treat. And on the court for the Lakers to start the fourth. D'Angelo Russell out there with Silk. Then it's Collins. Then it's Ingram. And it's the Prophet in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Ingram really graceful with the catch-and-shoot jumper. His lightning-quick release allows him to get off his shot in no time. Beasley kicks to Henson. to Kumbo against Russ. That one's good. The Laker lead is cut down now to just four points with the basket from Anda to Kumbo. And so it's the Lakers with it. Here's the Prophet. Kicks to Russell. There's the triple. Good for basket number six from him in the contest. He's shooting six for 12. Watch out. Now that he's got his first three of the half, there might be more in store. Beasley kicks to Henson. Nice ball movement by Milwaukee. It's blocked. In addition to being superb on offense, Ingram is also a ridiculously good defender. His long reach really allowing him to collect a good number of block shots. Screen by Russell. To the wing right side. Here's Collins. Second shot opportunity. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up and two shots coming up. The first one falls. Kevin, they're shooting around 90% from the free throw line. You and I both know that's very strong, very impressive free throw shooting for this team. Here's what Milwaukee's going with right now. Parker comes in for Michael Beasley. And Brian Roberts subbed in for Giannis Antetokounmpo. And he makes both free throws. Here's Roberts. First minute and a half of basketball played here in the fourth quarter. Henson with the screen. Here's Lamb. Misses off the right iron. Lakers leading by nine. Here's Collins. Sinks the three-pointer. Having a lot of trouble stopping the three-point shot. And they're not making up for it with their own shots from deep either, so that's a double-edged sword there. Henson with the screen. Will it go? Snatched away. Now the Lakers on the break. Russell's running. And that one drops for him. 21 points for Brandon Ingram. Boy, they've gone on this run, and ball movement has been a big key. It really has, Clark. The defense unable to react as quickly as necessary in terms of dealing with their passing. A nice shot by Roberts. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. 
Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now, Greg, they've allowed from point-blank range. Can't happen. Stolen by Henson. Parker kicks to Lamb. Dishes it to Toledovich. Trains the three-pointer. And you're asking for more trouble than you can handle if you're going to let him just roam free from beyond the arc. They set the screen. Russell kicks to Ingram. To the inside, Parker with the steal. Inside, and stolen by Russell. One-on-one -on -one here. Here's Collins. The basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. How about the concentration? He gets hit, but stays with the play and gets the finish. Innovation and improvisation right there, Greg. Finding a way to get that shot to fall after taking the contact. One shot. One shot. Take a look at what Easy Breezy's been doing. He's got 13 points, and he's done a little bit of work behind the arc. He's got a pair of three-pointers. And you know what? The defenders have that in the back of their minds now. They'll be on him a little tighter. And we've got an update here, so let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Well, I was able to listen in on what Jason Kidd went over with his team. No surprise, he was not happy with the turnovers. He told them, we are giving this one away, guys. We've got to be more careful with the ball. Play within the offense and get good open shots. Kevin? A bit under three and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. Ingram with the steal. He kicks to Collins. Sweet little floater. Collins has got the lead up to 14 now for Los Angeles. For Milwaukee, they've gone three of five here in the fourth quarter. Pretty good numbers coming out of the break. Roberts dishes to Henson. And slam dunk by Henson. And didn't do anything fancy there, but didn't need to. Nope. He, his only concern right now is getting the points on the board. And I, I don't mean style points. Hey, I thought there was some style there, guys. What are you guys looking at? I mean, it was still a pretty sweet, flavorful one-hand flush. Lamb passes to Roberts. To the middle. Drives it from nine. No good from Lamb. Misfires again, and the ball just refuses to cooperate with him. Tough day so far. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. And they're doing a very good job at the line this half. And that one falls for Ingram. And really, guys, I can't put a ceiling on Ingram. I mean, with his length, and his shooting stroke and work ethic. Um, this is a guy who I think has the potential to be truly great. Los Angeles making a switch here. Hassel's checked in. That one misses. The one thing you have to love about Jabari Parker is the level of competitiveness he brings to the court. He is always putting in the extra time at the gym trying to lead by example on his team. You know, there's just an air guy as a maturity around this player that you don't see from players his age in this league. Yeah, well said, Kevin. And I think he brought some of those attributes of maturity and work ethic to the table. But Good. I think his injury Good. enhanced those attributes. What's up? And anytime the game is taken away due to injury and you get a chance to get back, I think there's a greater hunger and appreciation just to get on the floor, he had to work extremely hard. So I don't think he takes that for granted now. Uh, while it was a setback, I think it also was a launching pad for what I think is going to be an all-star career. O.J. Mayo is checked in for Silk. Outside, Russell. They set the pick. Mayo with a screen for Russell. It's tipped. Stolen by Hintz. And here comes the break. Here's Lamb. Lays it in without an inch of room around him. And that's how the coach would draw it up on the fast break from start to finish. Yeah, and what a finish it was, guys. Really nicely done. 
The Prophet passes to Hess. Wow, wow, he got whacked on that one. Shouldn't be much debate there. Blatant contact. Straightforward call. Simple. first free throw is good and as a team they're hovering around the high 80s from the free throw line they've gotten better as the game has gone along which is exactly what you want to see and he makes both free throws it's been a good night for the captain Eight rebounds, and all the steals he's collected only add to his impressive stat line. <laughs> Whether he's picking someone's pocket or picking off a pass, he has been a disruptive force out on the floor. Los Angeles leading by 12. Ingram kicks to Russell. Gets that one through the hole, make him now 7 of 13 in this game. And slithering inside, D'Lo, that's Russell's length helping him convert against pressure. Roberts dishes to Parker. That one good for two. And not sure what you can do with a guy like that. With his handles, he, he can just take defenders to school. There's a good screen to the paint. Hassel's shot's good. The captain's got 10 points here in the second half. Orchestrating the offense like a vet. D'Angelo getting everybody involved. Here's Lamb, and slam dunk by Lamb. And, and cutting into the lead with the big one-hand throwdown. That's how you get your team back into it. That might indeed ignite a spark in this team. It's stolen by Lamb. The dish to Roberts. Pass to Parker. Shot clock at five. The three. And it's Russell with the rebound. Russell's got his third rebound tonight. Pass to Hess. Good, and the assist goes to Russell. The captain's got six in the quarter. Bucks trail by 14. Roberts passes to Toledovich. To the inside. A nice shot by Roberts. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. And on the flip side, Greg, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. They've got to offer more resistance here. Mayo, that's good. Mayo's got 19 points. Oh, perfect timing there to knock down the teardrop. And stolen by Russell. And here's the fast break. Russell leading the way. And it's Ingram missing. They've been the better rebounding team by a healthy margin, but it hasn't been enough. Yeah, you know, they're hustling and giving a good effort, that's for sure. But unfortunately, the execution has been lacking. How about O.J. Mayo in this one? He's got 19 points and also three steals. Some effective offense making passes, and he's also been hitting from deep with the three ball. And Clark, he's got the D on his heel. Smart passing, hot shooting. That is a deadly combination. That one is off. The Bucks making a switch here. Ante DeCumbo's checked in. And the second free throw, good. Bucks trail by 15 to the paint. It's deflected, and it's out of bounds to the Bucks as Milwaukee retains possession. And Lamb kicks to Roberts. Henson with the screen. On to Kumbo, a screen on Russell. Lock at six. 
Adetokounmpo against Russell. And that's Russell. I mean, has the length to disrupt and, and bother shots, even against bigger or more explosive athletes. Lakers leading by 15. Here's Ingram. Shooting two. And he knocks down the first one. He's perfect from the line this time. And so it's Milwaukee with it. 17-point game. Onto Takumbo, dishes to Parker. The steal. Mayo, and that's for two. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up, and two shots coming up. Hey, you know, the quick release of Mayo really forces defenders to get right up on him, which in turn allows him to draw fouls rather easily and often. That free throw good from Mayo. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Bucks trail by 19. They've been looking out of sync offensively. And they need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. And it's Russell in the corner. Tries again. And Henson sends it back. And he recovers it for the three. Antetokounmpo pulls it in. Excellent defense on the perimeter that time. He probably should have passed up that shot. There's the feed to Roberts. To the middle. The kick out to Antetokounmpo. Henson with the screen, and it's Roberts, top of the key. Over in the corner, Lamb, five on the clock. Parker sets the screen for Lamb. Not enough on that one as it misses. That, that was a half-hearted pick, and he was just going through the motions on that possession, and now it ends up costing him. Now Ingram. Green by Russell. Beyond the arc. And it's Ingram missing. Milwaukee has gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. Screen by Parker. Roberts passes to Parker. Tries to snap the cold streak. Kept alive. And slam dunk by Henson. And the second chance becomes a dunk. We could feel over here. GA such a good aggressive play in the paint. Guys, it's all about persistence on the offensive glass. You just can't ever give up on a play. Down low, the profit. Good and it's Russell picking up the assist. And 12 points for the profit. They just no let up, guys. They just keep coming at you. Well, this lead is too big to overcome. I'm going out on the limb right now. There's just not enough time left in the on the clock to make up the ground they have to make up. Parker kicks to Onda Takumbo. And the bucket counts, and he's on his way to the free throw line. Try to make it a three-point play. And tonight's battle is going to end with a very clear winner, leaving nothing to chance. Impressive win for Los Angeles. I think the attitude was very impressive. Definitely a competitive game, and they fought through it each step of the way. Absolutely. They put on a tremendous performance in terms of the effort and intensity. This was a well-deserved win. And so check it out, their record tonight. That'll mark win number 32 overall. And in the season series, they'll end up taking the upper hand with the first victory for this matchup with a 1-0 record against the Bucks. A good win, and a lot went into it. But I just like the showing for Ingram. He was doing everything right, and the points came in bunches. Definitely had the hot hand.
man, they came out smoking here from beyond. And Greg, as hot as they are from out there, absolutely no reason at all not to just keep letting them fly. Beasley kicks to Plumley, Knocked loose. To the paint. Here's Sonikitsi. Banked in off the glass. And the Lakers lead by 21. I, I don't want to say they're trying to run up the score here, but they do keep adding to the lead. Well, I know you don't want to say it, but I will, partner. I mean, they're trying to run the score up here. It's plain and simple. They're trying to throw salt all in that wound. Here's Ohio. Good work defensively by Terry. The shot and game clock separated by four. He feeds it to Antetokounmpo. And there's Jason Terry on the assist from Antetokounmpo. And this run not really doing him any good at this point, as late as it's starting to evolve. Yeah, but kudos to him, Greg. I mean, the fight they're showing now, you got to give them credit for that. Would have been really easy to pack it in. Here's Redding. So it's Los Angeles winning this one easily. To come into an opponent's building and dominate the way they did tonight says, I think, Greg, an awful lot about this team. Yeah, I, I guess they don't need home cooking to feel at home. <laughs> I mean, Kevin, just a masterful performance all the way around. Brandon Ingram, they fed him the ball repeatedly in the second quarter, and boy, did he come alive. Once he gets into a scoring mindset, very difficult to stop. Unbelievable, man. And when this guy's got it going on like that, it's a pleasure. I mean, just a pleasure to watch him play. I'd pay to come see him, even though I don't have to. It was a great game for him, Ernie, and this one he really needed. As bad as he's looked lately, it was important to build up that confidence again and have a big night.